If you are a wise man, you are greedy for knowledge. Having that void in your soul won't be filled by something external. There's an infamous speech about greed being good from a film Wall Street by Oliver Stone. That statement, greed is good, may sound very controversial, but I would like to shed light upon what it really means and elaborate further on the speech that character of Michael Douglas gave. I'll show you the clip first, then we'll delve deeper into what it really means. I am not a destroyer of companies. I am a liberator of them. The point is, ladies and gentlemen, that greed for lack of a better word, is good. Greed is right. Greed works. Greed clarifies, cuts through, and captures the essence of the evolutionary spirit. Greed in all of its forms. Greed for life, for money, for love, knowledge, has marked the upward surge of mankind. And greed, you mark my words, will not only save Teldar paper, but that other malfunctioning corporation called the USA. Thank you very much. Now what he really tries to say is that a lot of people sugarcoat by interpreting the meaning of greed that something is very sinful and bad and corrupting, that a greedy person is an evil person. And that might sound true in some instances, but that statement is not black and white. As he said, progression of evolution is defined by greed. He mentions greed for love and greed for money, but you can boil down all type of greed into one simple fact. Greed for procreation and expansion of consciousness. This shaming tactic about greed being bad is a filter mechanism for people to not get ahead of themselves so that they can share with themselves and make sure that community flourishes with them. And as many any other controversial principles in life. Everything is bad when you're not master of yourself. If you're a wise man, you're greedy for knowledge. If you're a businessman, you're greedy for financial power. Oh fucking die! If you're needy, if you haven't gotten any love during your childhood, you'll become greedy for love. Because no matter what you do, it won't satisfy you. Having that void in your soul won't be filled by something external. Think about it, if a human being wouldn't be a greedy creature, we wouldn't have all of these comfortable things that we have. A shelter, a roof over the head, food on the table. Life has become so much easier in a physiological sense because of greed. Some guy was very driven and wanted to procreate with as many females as possible. He came up with the idea to create some tools in order to get as much food as possible or build a shelter that would protect him and his females much better than his contenders or his rivals. Whenever I want to excel in something, I have to gather knowledge. To do that, I have to become knowledge hungry. It takes a lot of time, a lot of consuming, so that your mind can be transformed into becoming something else, something more powerful. And that power comes from you not only knowing, but applying. Greed is a definition of the hierarchical structure that human beings live by. The top dog gets the privilege to procreate with as many females as possible. And make no mistake, there's no 50-50 gene spreading in human evolution. Most of the females are always able to procreate. Most of the guys, not the same. Because as I have mentioned before, egg is expensive sperm is cheap. It suffice with just one top male specimen to feed the machinery of evolution and make it as effective as possible. Evolution doesn't want 50-50. Evolution wants best of the best. And unfortunately, there are very few males who have the gumption, the audacity to take what they want, to go for the things they wish for and become the best they can. That is driven by greed, conviction. Don't make mistake confusing greed with wishful thinking. Greed is something that you take action upon. If you're sitting on a couch on your ass and counting your pennies, you are not greedy, you're being petty. And I'm not saying that you should be greedy and take everything for yourself because that per se would imply that you would neglect your community and people surrounding you, which doesn't play in favor for your greed. Greed is maximized when people follow you, when you share with yourself, when you give people what they want, and as you make other people's lives better, your power grows stronger. Don't despise greed. Understand greed. Be hungry for knowledge. Be hungry for improvement. Be hungry for becoming the best you can. Life isn't fair. Life is life. Osain, out.